What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We have one story for you, zero questions, and I'm recording this really not late the night before you watch this because we're going to go to uh, Universal Studios. So I'm pretty excited about that, bringing the little, little man to that. Uh, but without further ado, we get some great, interesting stuff on the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and Fold 4. So you're definitely going to want to watch this episode because it's not going to take forever. And I'll put my little face at the bottom of the corner so you can see my pretty face as I read what we're going to talk about. And this information comes from Reddit. I saw this on Reddit and it's a post coming from a person that works at a carrier store, like four for instance, I don't know if he works at this store, but he works for like AT&T, a Samsung rep came in with the Galaxy Z Flip 4 prototype, spoke about the phone, what that phone had, and what the Fold 4 will have. Most of the stuff we know, but it's kind of cool if this, you know, ends up coming out. So let's just talk about what exactly we heard. And it's coming from, I won't even read the name, but uh, you can imagine <laughs> what it sounds like. Just got my hands on a prototype Flip 4 for a few hours. Like the title says, I work for a carrier and my Samsung guy came in today for a few hours, got to play around for a few hours, he likes to work a few hours, with my prototype Fold 4. My phone basically looks the same, cameras do stick out more and the edges are definitely shiny like an iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. He told us the phone uh, will come up with up to 512 gigabytes of storage, which is what we heard and what a lot of people want. And it does come with an eight plus processor, meaning it's gonna come with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus processor, which I find good news, was told that pre-ordering the phone will get you the same promotion as the S22 of paying for the lower, lower storage amount, but getting a bump to the storage above the picked one. And I've said that. I said, I bet you, you know, that when you pre-order this phone, you're going to be able to get the extra storage for free or use your credits towards that. And it seems like that is what's going to happen. Also was told the Watch 5 will come with in a pro model. So he's saying the Watch 5, there will be a pro model, which we've heard, with way longer battery life than we are used to, not giving it a specific SOC, but we should expect it to last longer. And it comes with an always-on GPS like a Garmin. So you'll have always on GPS like a garment, I guess he already said it. Also the Buds Pro, he's talking about the Buds 2 Pro, uh, will support 24-bit audio, which we have heard, which is a higher quality audio bit rate. Not an audio file, so don't really know much about that. He goes on to continue saying in another comment that, let me find it, he said also there will be a one terabyte Fold 4, again, which we've heard and keeps going back and forth. We've seen people showing off prices and stuff, but they haven't showed the one terabyte. He's saying that it will be. And if you works at a carrier store, you would think that the one terabyte's gonna be at the carrier store as well. That's a big takeaway, I think, from that. We were also told about $29 screen repairs on the Z Fold 4. That's huge, especially if you don't have to get any insurance with the phone and it only costs 29 bucks for screen repairs. Again, that's gonna be absolutely massive. But I don't know much more than that and he didn't explain more. And of course, no SD card slot uh, and space zoom on the Fold 4 almost forgot. So we've heard that, heard that too, that the Fold 4 is gonna have updated cameras and that the cameras, he's saying in even more of the stuff, if you read more through the thread, that it's gonna have cameras more like the S22 Ultra, but from what we're seeing megapixel wise, it's gonna be more like the S22, S22 Plus. He also said space zoom, space zoom. Now, you might think space zoom, it's gonna have 100X, but space zoom is also considered at 30X, and that's really what it's supposed to have is 30X, but that obviously could, could change with any of that stuff. So very cool stuff that we heard from it. A lot of it stuff, basically we already knew, but you know, and what it is, maybe he's making all this stuff up, but regardless, it's still, exciting I love the anticipation of everything and uh, my question to you is out of everything we talked about today what's the thing that's most exciting to you about that fold for or what seems the most interesting the most intriguing let me know in the comments down below again no question today in terms of me answering for you have a great day and we'll see you down the road peace